LEED is a rating system that's administered by the U.S. Green Building Council, and the rating system is broken up into several different categories, like sustainable sites, indoor environmental quality, energy and atmosphere, water efficiency is important, and materials and resources. And all of these have minimum requirements that must be met by any project. The Coastal Studies Institute achieved a gold LEED rating. The building over the last eight years has proven to be energy efficient. We're over 30% of energy savings. In fact, even eight years on, we're the most energy efficient building that is administered by East Carolina University. During construction, 100% of the waste materials that came from the, the project were sent to a recycling firm to be sorted and those that could be recycled were. Many of the materials used in the building were from recycled sources or from local sources. A lot of the wood that you see was, was harvested locally here in North Carolina. Well, the LEED certification is, is not just about the design and construction of a building, but it also refers to the amount of pollution that that building might provide or the health of the occupant and thinking about how the occupants might enjoy working in that building, the amount of light how we recycle, all of these things can lead to a, an enjoyable experience when you visit or actually work at that facility. And so we come at these LEED certifications from thinking about not just the environment, but the people, the people that visit and the people that work at these facilities. Creating a sustainable building is important for the community, it's important for how we lead by example as an education facility. We have 10 best management practices for stormwater and 100% and of the stormwater on the campus is treated by these devices. They're all in the landscape. We were lucky enough to have enough real estate that these are not just holes in the ground holding water, they create habitat and provide learning opportunities and environmental benefits. Water efficiency, we have a 48,000 gallon cistern and that provides all of the non-potable water that we need for outdoor temporary irrigation, for flushing our toilets, and washing boats, things like that from the outdoor spigots. There's no permanent irrigation in our, in our landscaping, and that's one thing that homeowners can do, is to consider the groundwater sources and uh, certainly not using potable water for landscape irrigation. The geothermal system here is a big version of what most people, many people have in their homes. It's a heat pump. It's a water to air heat pump and it's high efficiency and it actually uses the raw water from Dare County wells. We run those, the water through our system and return it back to the Dare County water system to be purified and used for drinking water. We think of these as an opportunity to save energy and to lower our carbon footprint. But as an employee who's worked in this building for eight years, I can tell you that it's comfortable, it's a wonderful place to work, and the natural light that we have, um, I'm sure it helps our students learn better and it certainly helps all of the employees that uh, work here. One of the easiest things that homeowners can do to create a more sustainable home is to consider their landscape and not worry that things are so well maintained. We employ something called uh, cues to care. We mow just the edges of uh, the driveway in to allow the rest of the landscape to enjoy a natural succession opportunity. So we have natural grasses and we allow the grasses and shrubs to grow to provide habitat, cover, and food sources for animals and birds. Many of our courses that we teach here at our coastal campus are focused on hands-on learning, right? A real experience. We've got various ways that we're using native plants, various ways that we're collecting water, storm water, and all of that can apply to many of the environmental and, and resource-related courses that we teach our students on this campus. But it goes beyond that and thinking about the community that visits our campus. It's a teaching tool not just for the students that come to our campus to learn, but for the entire community. Anybody that comes to our campus has the opportunity to learn about not just LEED facilities, but how you can use the surrounding environment to create a more sustainable development.